Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I want to have a quick discussion on how to solder various types of different header pins onto a uh, PCB that just has raw pads. So as you can see this component right here only has blank pads. There's no pin so it's very difficult or impossible to get it into a breadboard right now. Instead I've got to solder these pins onto the component so it looks more something like like this. Here's a here's a little Arduino that I did recently and you can see it's got all of the header pins soldered on so now this whole component will easily plug into a breadboard. So that's a game plan. Uh, let's do a quick video how to do it with this. I just want to show a couple of the components or parts and tools that you might need for this endeavor. So obviously you're going to need the uh, component. Um, you're going to need some header pins. There's different kinds. These ones are a little bit taller. You can also get them that are a little bit shorter on the top, you can see. Also, some of these might have header pins like this, where uh, the top has just a different type of connection. But basically, same idea. All of these are just little legs of the pins that are going to go onto the various raw pads on the PCB, and we're going to have to solder them in. So one thing that's very helpful for this endeavor is to have a little breadboard. We're going to see how we're going to use this to hold the pins and put the component uh, on in just a second. Then obviously you're going to need some soldering equipment. You're going to need a soldering iron, um, some solder. I like to use a little bit of tip tinner. Uh, I, I use a little soldering fan as well. And then obviously from a safety perspective, you're going to be staring at these things pretty closely. So I always wear safety glasses when I'm doing soldering like this. So that's the game plan, so let's go ahead and show how to get those header pins uh, onto the board. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do is count how many pins are we going to need on this board. So I counted on this, you can see there's eight pads on this side, and then let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six on the other side, and then actually there's two right here for this connection. So this is just the V motor. So this is just a little motor driver component. Um, but that's the idea. So I got to get these pins onto the board. So the first thing you're going to do, I'm going to use these smaller header pins here. So these are little breakaway header pins. So all you need to do is just count the number of pins that you're going to need. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so right there. So you can actually break these uh, by hand. Some people also maybe use uh, pliers sometimes. You can just put it right here, but I can do it, usually just do it by hand, just pinch on this and then just kind of twist and you can see these things just pop right off. So that's perfect. So I think we've got eight for one side of the board. So this is just gonna sit in like that. There we go. So there's eight like that. And then we're gonna need six for the other side. So let's count off another six and just break those off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. And then snap, there we go. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so now we've got our sets of header pins. Okay, now um, what we can do is I find it very useful to actually just put these header pins into the breadboard and that's going to help hold the component uh, for our next step. So let's go ahead and push this in and I'll do the same thing for this other row of six. And again, you just got to make sure you line these up appropriately. And then what we should be able to do is just sit the component right on top of it. Oops, see, now there they go. I did, I didn't, <laughs> I did not align this appropriately, I think. Oh, yeah, I got to move this. Anyway, give me a second to shift this guy over, and uh, we'll be back in a second. All right, so we've got the header pins in the breadboard, so you can kind of see they're just sticking up. So now the easiest thing to do is just obviously take your board, put it right over the header pins, and that fits nicely. Okay, so we're going to want to make sure that this is uh, nice and sitting flush, that there is uh, no gaps between the board and the top of the header. And then all we're going to do is basically just get our solder. Let's get our soldering iron and uh, I'm going to come here to one of these corner ones to start and I'm just going to put the soldering iron kind of right on the pad and the pin. All right, so I'm just going to take the soldering iron, heat up the pad and I'm going to take the solder and touch near where I'm heating up on the pad and hopefully the heat transfer from the soldering iron We'll just get the solder to flow right into it. There we go. A little bit of solder and then there it goes. It sinks right into the pad. Perfect, there we go. So there's one, okay. So again, it might be a nice time to check, make sure there's no 
caps on that side and on the other side. So now let's go ahead and do one in kind of the opposite corner just to tack this thing down. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to put the soldering iron right on the pin and the pad and then just get a little bit of solder to flow down. There we go. So this one actually wasn't so great. I got a little bead of solder there where it's not supposed to be. So I'm actually gonna get my solder sucker and see if I can suck that up and get rid of it. So let's heat this up. Oh my gosh, a little bit. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and do the rest of the pads. So now we just go down the line. I like to hold the soldering iron at the junction between the pin and the pad. And the idea is that when the solder is applied to this uh, relatively hot junction, the solder is going to melt and then flow into the interface between the junction and the pad. Make sure you've got your solder exhaust fan going as you really don't want to be breathing these fumes and I don't know about you but personally I've got my face pretty close to this as I'm trying to stare and watch at what I'm doing so again make sure that solder fan is going. And this all kind of goes without saying, but maybe I'll just mention it, but you really want to make sure that the solder beads between the pins don't overlap. If they overlap, you're going to cause a short between those two pins. So if you do end up making a mistake, you're going to want to use a solder sucker to remove the excess solder. In fact, you saw me remove some excess solder earlier, and you just want to do something similar. All right, so here we are, all done. Um, so now we can just pull this thing right off the board. There we are. And now we've got the header pins all mounted. Okay, so now last one we should do is a very similar operation, but let's get this one, right? Slightly different style of pin going into here. So let's just make sure we get the orientation reasonable like that. Great, now I'm just gonna flip this thing upside down. Now this one's a little bit slightly more difficult because uh, either I gotta get something to prop this up so this thing doesn't tip over at an angle, um, maybe that's the easiest thing to do. I'll try to find something to prop this up and then just solder these two exactly the same way that we did the other header pins. All right, so here we go, finished product. Here's the uh, motor driver chip with all of the header pins uh, soldered on. Um, I've done several other components. Here's another little uh, Hall effect encoder. Um, got a little bit of the longer headers on the top. That way you can kind of make connections on the top as well as down here on the breadboard. And then I've actually done a bunch of these Arduino nanos. Um, had to solder on all of these different pins on it. And now I think it's all working. So for example, here's like a, here's one of these Arduino nanos that I hooked up that uh, you can see, you can push a little button, change it, or you can hit this little bumper up here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so things are working. So there you have it. Real quick video on how to solder um, these header pins onto a board. Uh, all right, I think I'll leave it here. Thanks a lot, everyone. Bye.